Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jung Lo, the owner of a Jung Lo Cage Fighting Series. Number two is going down two and a half weeks out. November 13th in the heart of San Francisco at the Keysar Pavilion. Right next to me, I have a up and comer, Bryant Bayana. Right? Yes, sir. And uh, officially signed today, we'll be competing on our upcoming event. Now, two week notice. Um, and I look you up for a little bit. You haven't been in the fight game for a few years. It's been a while. It's been a while, but we're gonna make it happen. You know. We're yeah. Ready to go. So, we're ready so, to go. so what, what what happened to this downtime for the last few years? I mean, you have one amateur fight. Uh, how many years ago? Man, probably like about eight years ago. It's eight been a while. It's eight been a years while. ago. Yeah, I know. I know. And then you you take the owl on the first MMA debut, and now you're making a a, a comeback. So what well, what have you been for the last eight years? So um. Fortunately, it was lost. It is what it is, but um, I ended up working on that weakness, and um, you know, it's been a couple of years since I've uh, really done any kind of MMA. So I, I feel like I'm ready to go. It's been some time to kind of recollect myself and make it happen again. So yeah, got just had a daughter not too long ago. Been working on my thank you. Been working on my um, my craft, just working and just paying attention to that. But I think it's about time that I, I get serious about this business. Yeah, I know this this whole pandemic kind of delay a lot of fighters, uh, what they want to do, what they want to achieve, and then um, now things open back up. So now it's, let, let, let make that run again, you know. Yeah. Now let's introduce you to all the five fans out there, Brian. Where are you born and raised, and what got you into martial arts? Born and raised in San Jose, California, here in the Bay Area. So uh, I love my I love my city. Want to put it on, put it on the map. It's already on the map, but let's make it even bigger. Um, I've been uh, doing, I, I started doing Taekwondo since I was about 12 years old, so, and then from there kind of got to it and did a little bit of wrestling here and there, and then um, did some jujitsu. so, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm ready to go again. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Now, this upcoming fight, you're fighting another up-and-comer from Saram uh, uh, Academy that uh, Alex, Alexis Bautista it's a young up-and-comer and he's gonna making his MMA debut never had any fight before what's your take on a, a, a on a guy like that that you don't really know much about him and how are you gonna prepare somebody like that um I mean it is what it is I go in there and I, I gotta get the work done he's it's just an obstacle in my way and I mean I may be coming back from the loss but it's not gonna be that way that's gonna be the only one I have from there it's only up what do you see yourself like from here on like do you see yourself making a, a career uh, out of the, the fighting, or, or this is just one of the bucket lists you want to fill? Oh no, this is definitely a career that I want to uh, take it with. Um, I have my own uh, business that I'm trying to start off called Triple B Fit. Um, it's, it's my initials actually, and it represents believe, become, be you. Uh, believe in what you want to be, become that, embrace it, but most importantly, be you. And that's what I'm going to be achieving, helping everybody out. So that's going to be what it's going to be about. Yeah, helping this ex escalate, and I feel like through fighting, it's going to really bring it out into fruition. So the, the business do you want to try to develop? Let's talk a little bit about that. Mm -hmm. Are you opening up a gym or a training facility or? So I've been working on being a personal trainer and it's been helping out um, and that eventually will be the goal, having my own gym, yes. That. So like a fitness, health? Fitness, health, yeah, all that good stuff. Some of where, um, for me personally, uh, fitness has always helped me. Uh, it's been an outlet for myself. You know, yeah, if yeah. it wasn't for that, I'd probably be out being a hooligan. again. So luckily, I had a good outlet. I had a, uh, um, a good uh, a place where I could train at, and so you know, from that, I kind of want to help other people out as well. Now, what gym do you train at right now? Right, right. now, I'm training at a Josh Cordero uh, Martial Arts. Okay, and I know they emphasize on everything, right? Jujitsu, wrestling, everything. Yeah, so I did wrestle in high school. Um, I dabbled with it. Uh, I started my jujitsu with Josh way, way back, and um, never. I mean, I, again, I dabbled with it, so I didn't really been. I'm still like a white belt, so you know. But it is what it is. Um, and then, but my whole uh, thing, I've been always uh, lifting weights. I've always been uh, car doing a lot of running. I'm actually doing a Spartan race next month too. So any kind of uh, form of uh, Workout that I can get, that's what I... Get what in I, shape. Get in shape, yep, that's it. That's pretty awesome, mm -hmm. though. Like, you know, if people want to get a hold of you to coming up watching your fight, uh, contact you for tickets, how can people contact you on social media? On social media, I'm on Instagram and Facebook. Instagram, it is going to be triple B, uh, T-R-I, three P's, L-E, underscore B, underscore fit. So if you guys want to look me up, I'll be on that. That's pretty awesome, uh, Maybe scoot over, touch me a little bit. Yes, mm -hmm. making sure you're in the camera. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> so now that's pretty awesome, though. Now on this upcoming fight camp, 
there's any training partner, loved ones, supporters that you want to shout out to. I want to shout out my girl, Haraseli, my daughter, Ailani, that was just born. I want to shout out my jo uh, my coach, Josh. I mean, he's the one helping me put this back in, into fruition. Um, let's see. I want to uh, thank my sponsors, NB Prints, uh, uh, Team uh, uh, Cordero. Um, I've been at a, uh, another gym called uh, Team CCK. Uh, and let's see, one other person. Oh, and Team Elite, the, the gym that I work for as well. They're going to be sponsoring me. So uh, shout out to Team Elite as well. Oh, you've got a, a lot of good support systems out there. Yeah. I can't wait to watch you fight. A um, little bit of tips for people that don't know who you are that want to come see you fight. What type of fighter are you? Are you a, a stand-up? Uh, I mean, what, what, what's your go-to? For me, man, I, I, I'm, either way, we take it to the ground, let's go to the ground. We take it to standing, let's keep standing. As long as, hey man, my whole thing is I want to entertain you guys. So as long as you guys are being entertained, let's, let's make it happen. Whether it be up or down, I'm ready to go. Now, if your opponent, Alexi Bautista, watching this interview, what do you have to say to him? Hey man, let's make it happen, let's run it, let's get this going. That's all I gotta say, man, let's do it. Any little prediction for you to, to share um, with friends? Mm, not really, let's just keep things, keep things nice and nice and good, my man, let's do it, let's just do it, let's go for it. Ah, that's pretty awesome. Now here we go, guys. For more information about this upcoming fight card, check out DragonHouseMMA.com. Um, this event's live stream pay-per-view nationwide. If you cannot make it to the event, make sure you guys order your pay-per-view voucher from the DragonHouseMMA.com. Smash that like button, subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you for all the love and support for all the MMA Five fans out there. We all keep putting all the big event in the Bay Area, the biggest regional show in Northern California. To all the Five fans out there, making sure you guys stay tuned. November 13th, do not miss it. It's about 12, 11, 11 amateur fights, 10 professional, 20 fights on a stack card. You can't miss it. You know, we have two uh, female fights on this upcoming card and three title fights on this upcoming card. Lots of Mongolian overseas fighters also flying in to fight on this upcoming card. It, it, you can't miss it. It's a big, big, big card. Um, and is anything else you want to say to the to the audience? Anything you want to say to all the fans, you, you know? Um, uh, just my name is Brian Tobiana. Uh, my thing is Triple B Fit. Believe, become, be you. Let's get it going, guys. Let's make it happen. November 13th, come check me out. It's going to be a good one. Up and coming, now, guys. You see yourself making pro in the future. Definitely. No, there, there, is there any fighter, amateur, pro, in the Bay Area that you wants to fight in the future. In the future, man, Ayo, TJ, TJ Dillshaw, big fan, but hey man, let's, <laughs> let's, let's try to run it, man. Let's try to run it, let's see. I know, I'm, I know I got some time, but check it out. I'll make it up there, I'll make it up there. Just watch me. So how soon, uh, how, how long do you think you're gonna make it to the pro circuit? Man, if I can, now that I'm really serious about this, to be honest, I wanna be fighting at least once or twice a month. If I can, if I can, if it's possible, once or twice, if not, once every month. That's 12 fights in a year. So let's make it happen, let's run it. Oh shit. I'm ready to go. This kid right here have a lot of ambition. Yeah. I can't wait to watching him dance on November 13th. And uh, hopefully I see a lot of up and coming from amateur to pro and then from pro make it to Bellator UFC all the way from my event. So I'm hoping you're gonna be one of those and then watching you grow watching you shine one day and get to a big stage, a big lead. Sweet. Sounds Let's make good. it happen. Dope. Well, Dope. I'm Jung Lo signing out. Could you have on board, Ryan? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.